Hello, 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 and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Coliseum Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last episode, we finally made our way here to the Relic Forest. We finally are able to purify our Pokemon. Finally, we can get some XP, get some levels, and get some nicknames on these mods. So we're just going to jump right into it uh, because this process is going to take a little bit of time, and then we're also going to need to uh, probably go to Mount Battle, maybe get a battle or two in. We'll see. We'll see where, where it takes us today. But today is very important, very important. And I've been asking for you guys to leave a nicknames uh, for about, I don't know, like two or three episodes. And so I got some of them pulled up here. Uh, I am sorry if I missed some for whatever reason, if you left them on later episodes or whatever it might be. Uh, but I do have, I believe, the last two uh, pulled up here. And uh, we're going to we're going to put some nicknames, or at least the last two episodes that I remember seeing nicknames on uh, that are the most recent. So first, we're going to do uh, where let's do part of me kind of wants to just do how much do Shogun real like real fast just to see how much like levels we would have gotten. Uh, we'll do that. We'll do that in a second. But first, we'll start with Salamance. I'll go ahead and uh, if you're not familiar with our uh, last uh, last playthrough, we are, I guess, of our Pokemon X series, we had a Salamence, or a Shellgun, I think it was. I named it Gardenia, but I didn't include the e, uh, e. I spelt it wrong. So I think we're going to give this Salamence, since it is a female, it makes sense, we're going to give it some redemption with the nickname. And I'm going to make sure I actually spell it right this time. We were, uh, Blue 72 actually suggested the Shellgun is Gardenia 2 and the Salamence is Gardenia 3. Uh, we're just going to name this one Gardenia 2 because the other one obviously did not make it to, uh, you know, to get to, to be purified, which is unfortunate. Uh, let's see how many levels we actually get. We only get three levels with this Salamence, but that's, to be honest, that's understandable because of the sheer fact we didn't have it for nearly as long as we had the other one for. Uh, that's okay. I, I'm interested to see. It's gonna hurt a little bit, I think, to see uh, to see all the like all the uh, levels that we could have had with the other one, but it's okay. Let me make sure I actually spell this right. It's an E. It's E N I A. E N. Ooh, not E O. E N I A. Perfect. Gardenia, and then let's do. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we could just do two, but that's not that's not really fun. Let's go uppercase and we'll just do gardenia to welcome to the team well, that's our first mom purified and it's glorious i love i'm going to love having a salamance hopefully he doesn't die <laughs> hopefully now we can keep things alive that we are uh, look at that look at the purification it's so beautiful let's do shellgun for uh for giggles let's just see how much we would have had how much experience we would have had with this thing I am interested. I feel like we're gonna, I feel like it's gonna be close. I don't know, my guess is level 37. And uh, let's see, it got 30,000 experience. Oh my goodness. 36, oh, this hurts, this hurts. Wow, level oh, oh, well, 38, I was close. And wants we'll to learn Dragon Breath, which doesn't really matter, but we'll, we'll teach it to it anyway. It's gonna go straight in the sad box. It's gonna hang out with half of our other encounters, more than half of the rest of our encounters. It is still leveling up. Oh, that hurts. Level 39, we could have had it. We're not gonna give it a nickname just for the fact that, you know, we can't use it. So it's A okay with me. We have the other one, and we have a Glalie here. Now, Glalie, we had a suggestion from. I believe it was offline Nuzlocke. Yes, Frostbite the Glalie. They actually left three. Frostbite the Glalie, Grace the Ralts, and Hulking the Torchic. We got a name for Torchic, but we will be naming this thing Frostbite the Glalie. It's the only other nickname I saw for it. And uh, in comment, got a couple likes, so I'll take it. Also, Glalie is such a cool mod. I'm glad we, I'm glad we were able to keep it alive. It's such a, I love the design of Glalie. I think it's really cool. And we finally get Ice Beam. We finally have some Ice-type moves, some Ice-type coverage, which is going to be great. Level 37, I'll take that as well. We gained a Ribbon. A Ribbon? A Ribbon? A Ribbon. And uh, let's see. Where's the F? There it is. So Frostbite, it's actually a really, a really good name for this Glalie. Let me make sure. Did you put a space? No, you didn't. I was just making sure. I know normally there's not a space, but you just, you know, you, you can't be, you can't be too careful. Frostbite, welcome to the team. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. What a powerful member of the team that is going to be. And all right, we got, just keep them coming. Keep them coming. We got Cradily. Now, no one left any suggestions for Cradily, uh, but we did have a couple people ask to be named after some mons. So we'll go ahead and look at those. Um... I do believe Blue wanted to be named after a Pokemon. We had someone else way back when. I'll have to go check as well. 
Oh, let me see. Let me check. I want to check and make sure that we get everyone. Hmm. Hmm. I think uh, Blue definitely wanted to be named after something. Should we name Blue after this Cray Dilly? I won't do that to you, Blue. We'll think of something else. We'll think of something else for uh, for Cray Dilly here. But before we do that, let's just do Ralts. Give me some more. I don't really know what we're going to name this thing. So let's go, let's go with Ralts, Ralts first, since we do have a nickname for this. And this thing is going to hopefully be a beautiful Garvador, which is going to be absolutely incredible. Special attack stat, I'm hoping, is going to be really nice. Uh, what does stink is I think it's... Oh, we don't get... It, doesn't, it does not get much experience because we barely used it. Uh, but that's just... Uh, that is what it is. So we'll go with Offline's name for this one as well. Uh, I don't believe I saw any others for this uh, Pokemon. So Grace the Ralts, welcome to the team. Grace, okay, it is. It is. And you know what? I think, Blue, you're going to be named after this Cradily because this Cradily is pretty good. It's actually been coming through uh, pretty clutch for us. So I understand it's not like a Groudon. <laughs> it's not It's not a Salamence, but it is a valued member of this team. And uh, hopefully it's going to continue to put in the work for a long time coming. I'm actually really excited to peer. Look at how much experience that was. That's incredible. I'm actually really excited to use this Mon uh, because, one, I don't ever see anyone use Cradilys. One. Uh, two, we can teach this thing Toxic now, which is going to be great. And honest, I think this thing eventually learns Sludge Bomb, which will be, I don't know, be really nice. Wants to learn Amnesia. Uh, do we want to get rid of anything for Amnesia? I really don't think so. It's really not a bad, it's not bad, but it's not great. So we're not going to, we're not going to teach this thing Amnesia. I think we'll, I'll think we'll pass on that. All right, it got a decent amount of levels. Yes, let's go ahead and name this thing Blue. Welcome to the team, my friend. It's going to be. This is a really good. It's, I mean, this, this mod has been clutch for us up until this point. So, I'm. I don't know. I'm happy with it. I, I've really been enjoying using Cradilly, and I think that's all the uh, all the mods. Let's take a quick look at the team real fast. I was kind of hoping Grace would evolve, but in f I think we need to level it up, actually, for that to happen. Uh, we've seen Staryu's stats last episode, so it st really stinks that Salamence's ability is bug, or uh, swarm. Uh, but what I'm looking at is that attack stat, a nice even 100. That is beautiful. So beautiful. Hardy nature. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. We got Shellgun, obviously, had a also a hardy nature. Very interesting. Wish we could have kept that Hyper Cutter when we evolved, uh, but we didn't get that. So this thing will go in the death box, sadly. And then we have Cray Dilly, Frostbite the Cray, or not Cray Dilly, Frostbite the Glalie. For, uh, battle Armor, Hardy. Why is everything Hardy Nature and everything's female? This is, is everything Hardy Nature? Everything is Hardy Nature and everything is female. What is going on? This is so weird. Uh, with Ice Beam, a pretty good moveset, honestly. Ice Beam Headbutt, Protect and Crunch. Not bad at all. Not bad. Uh, Liquid Ooze with Blue the Cray Dilly. And, uh, you know, honestly, a special defense is looking nice. That special defense is looking real nice. And then uh, here is our little Grace, the Ralts. I think we'll put the XP share on Ralts and we'll get this thing leveled up. Uh, hopefully evolved, honestly, this episode. I think it evolves to Garvador pretty soon, honestly. I know it should evolve into, it should evolve into Curlia here the next level or so. Uh, and then we'll get a, uh, hopefully, another evolution shortly after that. Because that's going to be a really nice and special attacking Mon. And I think I'm going to kind of have to build our, start building our team kind of strategically if we're going to make it through the rest of this game. Because this game's tough. Jack was making a joke. A good friend, Jacknition, was saying that people say you don't know, like, it's a common, like, common knowledge that you don't nuzlock this game, or that's really tough to nuzlock. I honestly didn't know that. He was giving me a hard time, like, oh, yeah, sure, whatever. I really did not know that. This thing is also a hardy nature. Dude, what is going on? Like, you guys, like, you guys are seeing this, right? Everything is female, and everything is hardy. I mean, that's fine and all, but I also, part of me kind of wants to, uh, I think I might off, like, off camera, might, like, purify these mons in here just to see what they are just for you know just for fun we had a brain for so long and we didn't get to see it to fruition so that kind of stinks all right so uh, we do have one more spot on the team i kind of want to put this pichu on there uh pichu or torchic probably torchic honestly we're looking at our team a fire type would be nice uh let's you know we got a an ice weakness here, so I guess really having a, I don't know, I think having Torchic would be good. I think we'll get Torchic up first. We will see, actually, I'm not sure, can we open, oh, hello, go into the slot, please. There we go. How is, how is your heart looking? Can we open your heart up right this episode? We are so close to opening up its heart. Okay, cool. 
We are very close to doing that. Actually, the first thing I think we need to do, yes, this Natsu is still holding the XP share. So let's actually go ahead and put the Natsu in the party. Let's go ahead and grab the XP share. You can't do it in the box, unfortunately, in this game. So you need to take it out, do all that stuff. Kind of a process, but you know, it's okay. It's fine. Let's grab the XP share off of Natsu. Let's go ahead and put Natsu back in the box. We will open all the hearts of these Pokemon eventually. We'll get them nicknames, so definitely uh, look at the look at these mods. Well, the Torchic's don't have a nickname, but these four mods all need nicknames. All these four do not get any suggestions, I do not think. So, if you like to drop some nicknames for one of these guys, let me know. Let me know. Go ahead and drop them. And let's go ahead and put the... XP share on Grace. Get this thing leveled up so we can start using it, which is going to be great. Oh, you can't use it. You must give. There we go. Oh, it looks so nice to have non like the purple, not the purple. <laughs> so nice not having the purples. All right. So what we're going to do today is uh, we do have a crisis happening at Mount Battle. So I want to make sure, I guess we do need to check our items real fast. Let's make sure we have enough potions. We do have plenty of super potions and uh, we could buy some hyper potions if we need to. How are we looking on balls? Looking pretty good on Pokeballs. So let's go to the store real fast. Let's buy some uh, some healing potions, some healing items, and then we can head to Mount Battle, and we're going to see what lies there. Uh, we do have a decent amount of battles to get through there. I think we literally, like, it's going to be probably two episodes to get through that entire thing. Uh, just, uh, you know, a fair, fair warning. Oh, we don't really have enough to buy uh, that many hyper potions, which is unfortunate. Let's just buy, I don't, wanna, I don't really want to waste my money on, no, let's save up some money so we can start getting some hyper potions. Our mods are starting to get a little bit beefy, so we need to be able to heal them up all the way if we do, uh, if, you know, if the, the need arises. Uh, but we're going to have, I think the, I'm not really sure what the boss at Mount Battle is going to have, uh, but I can tell you it's going to be in the 40s, and we have no mon, we have one mon at level 41, and I need to figure out where we get the water stone in this game so we can get a Starmie. Because that is going to be incredible. I also need to find out if there is a name changer in this game. Two things that I must look up that I'll probably forget to look up after this. But, you know, it's okay. I actually think some of these people will actually want to fight you, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I guess it'll be good to see. It's going to be nice. I'm going to actually just put Frostbite out front just because I'm scared of what these levels are going to be. I think one of these dudes is an imposter. It's terrible. It's terrible, I tell you. Uh, okay, I guess not. I thought one of these people were going to... I guess not. I guess not. All right, let's go in here then, and let's see what uh, what's going on. Let's see what's happening. At least people walked away from us. Someone walked in. That's a little that's a little shady, don't you think? It's a little shady. No, no one here. Not you either. They're after Vander, who is an area leader. But why would anyone want to do that? I'd go help, but I'm best. Okay, well, uh, I'm a little scared. <laughs> I'm a little I'm a little terrified. Let's go ahead and go in though. Uh, you heard about some duking. You must be here to save us. S you see, it was me who contacted duking from help. I didn't think you'd get here so quickly. But please be careful. The power of the Pokemon isn't normal. Oh, I know. Trust me. I'm here to solve all your problems. That is me. All right. We have our first battle here, and uh, I think I'm going to continue to lead. I think this is pretty good. I think I'll uh, I'll take this. This is fine. This is fine. Let's see how this goes. I'm not sure if all these goons are going to have Shadow Pokemon, because if they do, uh, this this whole, this section right here, this Mount Battle section, might take a little bit of time, uh, but that's okay. That's okay. This uh, series was not... I was not expecting this series to go fast by any means. So we have a Ninetales and a Kyogre to start things off, and a terrible matchup. We have the Ninetales there, I should say. is a really bad matchup for us. Uh, and the Staryu just being a Staryu is just, you know, it's just kind of how that rolls. So, okay, so no Shadows on the field. And, all right, so first things first, Bubble Beam into the Ninetales. This Frostbite needs to leave, and I think we go into blue here. We go into blue. I have a bad feeling it might double into the Glalie slot, so I'm really hoping that special defensive blue here comes through. And uh, they don't go into Staryu, because Staryu might die if they double into Staryu as well. Those are two very powerful Pokemon, so... Kind of hoping. All right, we do over half, so that's pretty fun. Here comes a Confuse race, so that's not too bad. And it goes into the Staryu, which is fine. We could switch out into uh, Gardenia here if we wanted to. Here comes a Body Slam into the Cradily. All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Uh, what does stink is the Staryu being confused. Uh, my Confuse luck is my Confusion luck is not very good. Uh, but getting the Ninetales out of here would be kind of clutch. Oh, I didn't teach Toxic to Blue. Shoot. All right, well, let's, uh, let's just go ahead. We'll go for... I mean, hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go for the Bubble Beam into the Ninetales, and then we'll just go for the Acid to get some chip damage. Come on, Staryu. Come on, Staryu. Yeah, why would you break through? I mean, why would you? 
That would be way, that would just be so convenient. It, is, it would be incredible how convenient that would be for us to just break through confusion. Here comes an ancient power from this Kyogre into the Cradily. Okay, that's fine. We take that, we take that well. We take that fairly well. And we're gonna shoot off an acid. And uh, if we don't get, maybe get some defense drops here. I always ask for a defense drop. We never actually get one. We do get a critical hit this time, so that's pretty fun. That's a fun time. I'm having fun. And uh, no defense drops. That's fine. All right, let's go for a bubble beam again into the Nine Tails, and let's try another acid. Nine Tails goes for a quick attack, and maybe this thing. I just find it very hard to believe this thing didn't have any sort of. Come on, Star You. Come on, Star You. Thank you. All right, this Nine Tails is gonna go down. I just find it very unbelievable this thing didn't have any kind of ice type move or uh, fire type move I should say But uh, that's okay. I just feel like it would have gone for it when that Glalie was out here, but that's all right Look at guys. We're getting experience. We're actually gaining experience and a low tad comes out Okay, so uh, my first thing here is we're going to oh hello Let's not let's not do that. We don't really have much to deal with the grass type either or uh, I'm sorry a water type We could use a like a good grass type Pokemon uh, maybe, I mean, part of me also really wants to get Pichu up, evolve that thing into a Pikachu, and then get a Raichu. That would be a very good thing to get as well. Ancient, uh, not Ancient Power, but that's kind of scary. Let's switch out Staryu and go into Frostbite. How is your special defense? It's, uh, not great, but it's really not terrible. It's better than everything else, uh, especially, hold on, where's, what's Staryu looking like? What's Staryu looking like here? Level 55, I mean, it's not, yeah, okay, it's better. So this is definitely our best option is to have Frostbite out here. So let's switch Frostbite in, and then let's go for the Acid. And I did a decent amount of damage to that Lotad, so we might be able to take this thing out. Obviously, that Kyogre is an issue. We need to take care of that thing as soon as we can. It's going for the Scary Face. That's fine. Obviously, we will take super effective damage from the Ancient Power, uh, but I'm hoping since it's not Stab, we should be okay. And obviously didn't get boosted to physical type attack in this generation, so we should be okay even with the Calm Minds. If Thing wants to Hydro Pump or Water Gun, I'm not really sure what Water Types knew this thing would have at this level. Uh, we should be able to take it. And Rain Dance, this guy's really trying. This guy's really trying. He's sweating over here. He is uh, full sweat mode trying to beat us right now. It's just, I'm still kicking over the fact that, let's go for the Crunch. Actually, no, you raise your special defense. So maybe a Headbutt's a better option, and then we'll go for the Acid. This thing is going to Calm Mind again. I'm really curious to see if this thing is going to pull a water type attack out just from the back pocket here. It hasn't used one. I feel like it could use one against Cradle if it wanted to, but I don't really know. We're going to get the Lotad out of here, so now we can just strictly focus on this Kyogre. And uh, yeah, we could. We, our team really would benefit from a good Electro type or a good Grass type. Uh, I mean, Cradle is a great wall, and I want to keep Blue around. I think it's a great physical wall to have around, a good special wall, I should say, to have around. And it's been, like I said, it's it's done a lot for us. I definitely want to keep it if we can. But having a good grass type or something to deal with water types would be uh, very nice. If this, I don't know if Cradley ever learns Giga Drain or anything like that, but that would be huge if we could get it. All right, let's go for the headbutt again. And then I think we'll just go, I think I might try to confuse this thing. It could be worth my time. Let's go ahead and try it. This is going for a scary face. Uh, so what do you have? You have Calm Mind, Ancient Power, Scary Face. And, uh, oh, you're pretty by Safeguard. That's right. That's pretty lucky. Maybe I should get a mom with Safeguard. Maybe I should, once I learn that move on one of my mods, I should probably keep it. Because I feel like we just get Safeguarded, or not Safeguard, we get Confused Raised and Paralyzed and all that stuff a lot. And it never, never really is kind to us. The RNG, that is. All right, let's go for another Headbutt. And then you're no longer protected by it. But I think at this point, I'm just going to go for the Acid. This thing is setting up. I'm really scared this thing's going to bust out like an Ice Beam into blue or something. And it's going to wreck our lives. It's really terrifying to me. I just really don't know what a level 34 Kyogre's moveset is. That does a decent amount of damage, though. Acid's doing a bit more. It's very nice to have this thing at a level. Like, at the proper level. At least close to proper level. This thing is so close to dying. I wish we had some priority right now. Our Breloom with Mach Punch would be very nice right now, but that's okay. Let's go for the Headbutt, and then we'll go for another Acid. And uh, here comes another Scary Face, and that is GG's. I guess I guess it just it just it didn't have anything besides Ancient Power. That's very interesting to me. I really would have thought it would have something to hit us with, but that's okay. Guys, I'm just, I can't, I just cannot tell you how happy I am that we got these mods purified, that we actually made it, we're able to actually grind up if we need to, we're able to build a team, at least try to start building a team, I, I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon, man, I'm over the moon, Grace has yet to grow, but that's okay, I think we just need one level, I think it evolves into Curlia before level 30, so I feel like we should be getting one, 
very soon. If not this episode. All right. Uh, I don't know if we... Normally, when you do the Mount Battle Challenge, you do get healed between battles. I don't know if that's the case here. Uh, but here's what I kind of want to do. I feel like blue always comes out no matter what. So let's just keep blue out front. There's really not a point in not doing it. Uh, I don't think we do get healed up, though. Uh, so maybe we should just... Nah, it's okay. I think we can do at least two battles here without having to heal up. We'll see. I think we'll be okay. Uh, I guess we'll find out, though. I guess the guys really... These people don't have Shadow Pokemon. That's kind of crazy to me. really thought they would have. You know, if I, if I was an evil mastermind, I would give this guy a Shadow Lavatar, a Lavatar so he'd give it to me. That's what I would do. Or a Shadow George. Oh, this would be a Georgina. All right, so we got blue and... Uh, okay, we're actually sitting... We're, we're, we're fairly pretty right now. We're sitting pretty good right now. I'll take it. Uh, I'm going to go for... Hmm, I think... Yeah, we'll go for the Acid, and then I'm going to go for the uh, Ice Beam into the Lavatar. I guess this uh, this Snorlax could Body Slam. It's going to probably have Rest. It's going to have a bunch of silly things, and that's just, you know, we're just going to have to find a way to deal with it. Lavatar goes down. Obviously, these mods are not going to give us a lot of experience, and it's going to be split with Grace and Illumise. Yeah, I'm going to be kind of mad if this is a Shadow Pokemon. Okay, good. It's not. <laughs> I really don't want one of those. I don't want one. I don't need one. I don't want one. I would love a defense drop on the Snorlax, though. We got one of the Illumis, though, so that's that's pretty fun. Let's get one of the Snorlax. Look at him shake around. <laughs> it goes for rest, and uh, here here it comes. Once we get rid of this Illumis, we'll probably speed up to take care of the Snorlax, uh, because it will take uh, a long time, I have a, I have a feeling. Do we have any Pokemon with Fighting-type uh, attacks? Actually, I don't believe we do. I don't think we do. All right, blue is gonna go. Um, hmm. I guess we can. Well, let's just double into the uh, Illumis. We're just gonna go for the Ice Beam, and then obviously whatever whatever's left over, the Cradle is gonna attack. Blue's gonna attack the Snorlax. It's not gonna do a lot of damage. We actually didn't kill this thing in one hit, which is a little surprising to me. Uh, this Illumis is gonna go for Flatter. All right, I don't feel very. I feel like we're okay. I don't feel very threatened by this stuff right now. Uh, but we did get our special attack raise. We do get confused, which is annoying. It's very annoying. Snorlax is still asleep. It knows snore, so that's that's great. All right, but we can take that. Uh, let me, looking at blue, uh, maybe we should go into Gardenia here. Not that it can really do that much to... Uh, not that it can do much more to, uh, to Snorlax, but I guess it could do a bit more than what blue is going to do, uh, just uh, damage-wise. And uh, I think... Can we call you to get you out of confusion? I think we can. No, we can't. Okay, well, that's fine. That was just a wasted a wasted turn then, I guess. I just want to see what this thing is going to do. It's going to go for the Encore into the Gardena slot. But that's okay. We eat that. We're not going to even take any damage at all from it. It's not going to do anything. All right, so let's go for this. Uh, let's just go for... Since Frostbite is confused, let's get the guaranteed kill on the Illumis. And then let's go for the Ice Beam into the Snorlax. Now, I can't remember. I think Snorlax is physically bulky, not specially. I might have that. I might have that twisted. I think we'll find out. This thing's gonna helping hand snore the Snorlax. Is that what's gonna happen? It might just be. All right, but the Illumis is gone, so that's that's what I'm most concerned about. Because now we can start doubling into the Snorlax and get this thing off the field. We'll speed back up. We shall speed back up for a little bit. And uh, there we go. Grace goes to level 31. Wants to learn Imprison. Uh, I don't think we really need any of that. Not that we really need teleport either, but I'd rather have it than imprisoned, I guess. So we're not going to learn. Uh, nope. Yes, don't learn imprisoned. There we go. Let's break through confusion, maybe. It's a lot to ask, I know, but I was just really hoping you would. Uh, let's see. This thing is going to go for Yawn, so that's annoying. So you have Yawn, Snore, Rest. What else do you have, my friend? All right, well, let's do this. Let's just go. We're going to go to sleep anyway. Let's just go for the headbutt, and then we'll go. I'm going to go for another ice beam into this thing. Can we break through? Of course not. That would be asking a lot. I know. Let's just get the headbutt, get the damage off. Maybe we get a flinch here. Uh, it goes for the rest. So this is, this is going to be fun. <laughs> this is going to be fun, folks. This is great. All right, so Gardenia, I know we can call Frostbite. Could you maybe please either get unconfused or just break through confusion? Either one would be absolutely... Come, do you, this is unbelievable. Stop. It's just every episode. The, the, the luck, the RNG is just ridiculous. Thank you. We actually get the Ice Beam off this time. That's a decent amount of damage. And we get the Headbutt. Perfect. All right, unless this thing wakes up and goes for... Uh, here we go. Okay, we're fine. Goes for Snore. Uh, let's see, into 
into the Salamance. I guess uh, Frostbite is a little low, but I don't think we should be dying from this range. Hopefully, we can actually just take this thing out. Yes, we can. That's Ice Beam is going to kill this thing for sure. Lovely. You love to see it. Beautiful. What a beautiful episode. Not only did we purify our Pokemon today, we also didn't lose any, but I should probably move this button out of underneath my microphone so I can actually see it. That'd be probably, that'd be a good idea, Haze. So I have to look down like a pleb. So let's see if Grace evolves. Let's see if this day can get even better. I hope that it would be. That guy's, oh, Dragovich. What a cool name. What a cool name that is. Yes, Grace is in fact involving. We're gonna have ourselves a Curlia. And soon we're gonna have ourselves a Garbodor. I am so excited. I'm so pumped over a nice special attack, another special attacker on the team. Look at that. Look at her tiptoeing. Look at her doing her thing. I love it. Grace, you beautiful, beautiful Curlia. Welcome to the team. All right. Let's go back to uh, the PC here. We are about we are about at time. And uh, as you guys see, yeah, we do have, I think it's nine battles we have to get through. And uh, if the battles are pretty easy, then we'll speed up through a lot of them. Maybe we can get their next episode. I don't think we can. Uh, but again, a lot of these battles, we know the challenge they can present. So, you know, that's just, you never know. There's a lot of, there is a lot of time to lose somebody. And uh, once we get Krillia evolved, I want to get the XP share to our Torchic so that way we can get a Blaziken. Uh, hopefully fairly soon because I don't think we've used we haven't used torture that much either and it's only at level 33 so if we can just do we don't have to do that many battles just a couple battles with it and we'll be able to get the level 36 that we need to get for Blaziken so that's going to be fun so we're going to go ahead and we're going to save up here and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, it means a whole lot. If you hit that like button, leave a comment, and consider subscribing to the channel. And with that, I just hope you have the best morning, afternoon, night, whatever it is for you in watching this video. Just make it the best it can possibly be. And I will see you next time.